Welcome back to LedgerSync. In this video we are going to show you how to import your QBO file into QuickBooks. So first off we're going to navigate to the QBO import section and grab our file and tell the system what checking account we want to associate with this import. As you can see it does it pretty quickly. Once the file's been imported you're going to get the bank feeds screen and the transaction list button takes us to all the transactions that we imported. Now in this particular example this is a sample client that has not had an import done ever so we're going to show you exactly what it would look like uh, in your uh, QuickBooks files as well and what we're doing is we are coding the payee field and the account fields to match how we want these transactions to be booked because in the description field on the on the far left you can see the way that ledger sync has imported the information into quickbooks and now we're matching those transactions with payee names and uh, the accounts that we want to book to now what we're going to do here in a second is actually code the rules inside QuickBooks to where using the QuickBooks intelligence that's already built into the 2013 and 2014 sets of QuickBooks you can set up these rules to remember how you have uh, coded transactions in the past so that each time you do an import every month QuickBooks gets smarter and smarter and eventually you won't have to code any transactions other than uh, the kinds of transactions that QuickBooks has never seen before so we're going to come down here to the lower left and click Add Approve. And this brings up a, a window uh, that is, is asking you to create the following rules. And each transaction has a separate rule. And what we're going to do is in the description fields, sometimes it'll, it'll have a lot of uh, a text in there that uh, may say check card, may say uh, what Starbucks you were at, what, what store number you were at. And in these cases, we're going to delete that to where just if it sees the word Starbucks in anything, it's going to remember how we want to code all Starbucks transactions. So this is a way that you can really customize your rule setting in QuickBooks and make sure that no matter what, it's picking up these transactions. So you can go to a QT store in uh, New York or a QT store in uh, Oklahoma, and it's going to remember whenever it says, sees QT, it needs to book that transaction a certain way. Now, if there are certain transactions you don't want to book using rules, you can uncheck them, and uh, the system will not create a rule for those transactions. Sometimes bank transfers or transactions that need some special attention should not be coded. And right here, you can see in the red, it has picked up the, the transactions with rules and alerted you to the transactions that it has uh, coded based on these rules so that you can approve them uh, and not just have them uh, happen without your knowledge. So here I've gone ahead and approved those transactions and now I'm going to continue with my coding. Normally we would not do the approval process until we had done all of the transactions, but in this case I wanted to show it to you in a couple of different ways so that you could see some examples. So again, we're just going to come through here and start coding our transactions again. And, and let me emphasize, this is the kind of thing that you only really have to do at length here on the first one. As month after month, QuickBooks will begin to remember what you've set things to and and we'll code these transactions for you. So we're skipping ahead here again and we're going to approve these rules some more now that we've gotten through with the rest of our transactions. And it's the same process, going through and checking the names, making sure that we like the way that the names uh, show in the rule. If you want it to be very descriptive and exact, you can leave it that way, but we tend to, uh, to make them kind of very generic names so that everything works the way that we want. And now when you get all greens, that means uh, your work is done and all you have to do is the bank reconciliation and you can finish up.